What is going on everybody? Welcome back. MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So today I have the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. This is a $200 budget device from Samsung. And I also have the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G from last year. Today I'm going to unbox the A15. There are some notable improvements with this device. And in my upcoming videos, I'll be showcasing it against the A14. See if it's worth an upgrade, or if you should just go ahead and pick up the A14, or just straight up pick up the A15, which one's going to be better overall. But um, starting things off, the box is obviously, it's a $200 device, so you're gonna be getting a box that's worth that phone. But I should probably go ahead and, should probably brought like a knife or something to open this, but that's okay. We're just gonna have to open it that way. There we go. So I got this blue color. Uh, it's called blue black, I guess. We'll see. We'll see how it is. I hope it doesn't have this texture because that texture is very annoying. Uh, I, I just get the goosebumps, but let's see what we got in here. Looks like we're getting some paperwork, quick start guide and USB-C to C cable. Let's put that aside. Let's open up the phone. See the box itself is like really flimsy. You get a SIM injector tool. And this definitely does feel a little bit heavier, kind of. Let's pop this open, or if I can, the right way. There we go. There we go. So definitely putting that aside. Oh, it doesn't have that texture. It does not have that texture. I'm gonna peel this off too. Oh, this is so much more premium. It feels much more premium out of the box when compared to the A14. And taking a look at the front. All right, well, I'm gonna boot it up first, but it definitely feels much more premium. It's kind of taking note of the Galaxy. A54, hopefully the A55 is gonna be even more premium. Uh, I'm gonna boot this thing up and get started. You can see my fingerprints because I just got it in the mail and it was pretty cold outside. So let's go ahead, boot this thing up. If it turns on, there we go. It's gonna turn on. Uh, so 6.5 inch full HD, 90 Hertz AMOLED display. This one comes with an LCD, 800 nits of peak brightness, a dimensity 6,100 plus a 50 megapixel main camera, 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 25 watts charging, eight gigs of RAM, and 120 gigs of storage, and a 13 megapixel selfie camera for 199. So I, I think we're gonna be getting a decent improvement. Yes, it's still a budget phone, so it's not gonna be like Galaxy S24 level or even Galaxy A50 level, but still gonna be pretty good for the budget phone. And, Looking at it with the A54 or A14 5G side by side, it's much smaller, much more compact in size, even though it still has a 6.5 inch display. I definitely think they did a really good job. Maybe get rid of the bottom bezel a little bit more. Oh yeah, but this is much better overall. Looking at it from the side right here and the back. All right, let, let's go ahead and start up with this and I'll be right back. All right, so let's take a look at the Galaxy A15. Here it is when you boot everything up and here it is against the A14 side by side. And you can tell there's a huge improvement and I'm all for it. You can definitely still tell it's a budget device, but that is okay. Again, I'm gonna reiterate, it's 6.5 inch full HD, 90 Hertz AMOLED display. That is very good. Yeah, this one had 90 hertz display, I believe, but it was an LCD display quality, wasn't the greatest. But this one, right off the bat, definitely is much better. It has a dimensity of 6,100 plus. Uh, here's the thing with that. It's still like, uh, maybe, you know, it's right out of the box, so it's not gonna be the smoothest, but I can still feel the fact that it's a budget device. Nonetheless, I can also, I can notice the 90 hertz and that also is, it's great to have a 50 megapixel main camera. So let's take a look at the camera quality. And yeah, I mean, again, it's it's going to be a budget device. So let me go ahead 
and take a photo of that card right here. And yeah, you can tell it's definitely not going to perform the best. It still looks uh, really blurry. Maybe I'd have to focus and kind of take my photo accordingly, but I, I don't know. It just you don't expect too much with the cameras with a device that's 199 from Samsung. Eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Well, that's that's a welcome addition and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt charging. So I can definitely tell you this because well, having experience with the A14 is if you want a phone with great battery life that you're not going to use often. It's definitely this is going to uh, be a great option. I think Samsung this year is really improving up their mid-range and budget lineup and with the design, with the hardware, as well as just the internals too. This is rocking Android 14 uh, One UI 6. It doesn't have One UI 6.1, but I'm sure that an update's going to come very soon. And also it's going to support four years of software updates. So now Samsung is gonna support four years of software updates for their budget device. That is very good. I'll tell you that. That is very good to have four years of software updates for a budget device because they're going to be supporting their Samsung Galaxy S24 series for seven years. Seven years of software updates. Good job, Samsung. You're doing a great job in the software department. So if you're coming from another Samsung, maybe an A14, you won't have any issues with the A15 5G. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what type of other content you'd like to see with this. I'm going to compare it to the Samsung Galaxy A14. So definitely be sure to stay tuned for that. But I'm super excited for the A15 and also the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Galaxy S24, which I did order, and the Galaxy A55 when that comes out because there are going to be some welcome additions. I think Samsung's making improvements in the right departments for their entire lineup of phones. So that's been it for me in this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to subscribe on the like button, comment down below. Best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. And also definitely be sure to check out my merchandise. Uh, I've got a lot of things like coffee mugs. I've got desk mats, joggers, sweatshirts, sweaters, you name it, we got it. And just shout out to this really nice blue color for the Galaxy A15 5G. That's been enough for me and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.